Watch out for worms. That's terrific. You want a bite? Sure. No, oh, I know what you're doing. I've read my Genesis. Are you afraid? No. Original sin and I go way back. You certainly seem to enjoy it. I do. What about you? Well, you're awfully good at sneaking up on people. I didn't hear you come in at all. Yeah, it's an art. By the time I was five, I could eavesdrop unseen on any conversation anywhere in this house. You should have joined the CIA. How do you know I didn't? What's all that? Oh, I'm working up an exercise program for Kirk. Oh, you're not serious about that. Oh, I am. Your father's um, asked me to take him on as a patient. Have you given him an answer yet? No, not yet. Good. Say no. Mason, I am a nurse. Well, you don't have to be a martyr. Haven't you had enough of this family? This family's been very good to me. Anyway, I'd like to take care of Kirk. I'm doing as much for Eden as anybody. Well, uh, Mary, you managed to survive taking care of my father. Don't press your luck. Mason, this may come as a shock to you, but I have a brain, and I use it to make decisions. Well, I know that, but can't you find a worthier charity case than my father? You can get somebody else. Well, he could afford to resurrect Florence Nightingale. I'm not going to change my mind, Mason. Well... Well, if you if uh, working at the clinic doesn't satisfy your uh, your need to do good deeds, why don't you work in the barrio? I'm not listening, Mason. Maybe a uh, shelter for the homeless, a drug rehab center, home for unwed girls, hospital ward. You could count her prison. <laughs> and then again, you might. Kelly, you're all Let right. Go of me. Kelly, Let stop go. fighting. You're okay. What what is going on? Tell me, what is it? What's the matter? I don't know. Come on, Kelly, tell me now, what is wrong? <gasps> Whose grave is that? Peter. I should have known Kelly Peter <clears throat> is dead. Now, what happened, happened a long time ago. How do you know about Peter? Ever since you compared my name to his, I did a little investigating. Look, I know what he did to you <clears throat> and Joe. But, Kelly, that was a horrible thing, but I don't see how you can compare me to him. He was a sick man with the carnations and everything. Come on, Kelly, stop it. It is over. Peter is dead. Now, I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. I love you. What is it? Kelly, stop trying to run away from me. Look over there. Peter is dead. He is dead and buried. Now, Peter is dead. Stop running, Kelly. You can't escape me. Never Neither one of us can run anymore. Kelly, look at me. We need each other. <laughs> Rough day at the office, Warren? I'd like to see your father, Mason. Most people look like this after they've seen him, not before. Just get him, would you? Look, I uh, may not be the favorite son around here, but I'm not the houseboy either. If you want to talk to Dad, make an appointment. He's expecting me, all right. What do you want? It's none of your business. It's between us. I'm afraid I can't help you. He's not home yet. I'll be out foreclosing on an orphanage. Don't lie to me, Mason. Are you welcome to come in and check for yourself, Warren. No, no, no. I Just uh, just tell him I, I, I came by. I'll, I'll come back. Suit yourself. You might want to grab a shower, Warren. Picked a better place to meet than Cece's restaurant. I hate this place. We're here to talk about Warren Lionel. Will you forget about Cece? I wish I could. Today is Warren's deadline, Cece. I happen to be painfully aware of that. Did you talk to Warren? I can't even find him, Augusta. I've been to the apartment, to the newspaper. I even got in touch with a casino in case he started gambling. This changed so much. It's just, it's, it's awful. Honey, we can't let Cece railroad him like that. What choice do we have? He won't let us give him the damn money. I've got to think of something. Well, anything but selling the property. I can't believe that property has been in our family for generations. It was a gift to Warren. We just... If Warren sells it, it'll kill me. I know, I know. Well, here are Warren's parents. Where's our fair-haired boy? He's a grown man, CC. I don't keep tabs on him. No. Oh. Well, it's too bad the boy and him got him into this jam. You know something, Sissy? I never realized you were such a coward. I'm the one you're after. 
Why don't you face off with me? <laughs> Lionel, I don't know why you insist on making this something personal between us. It's just business between Warren and me. Leave him alone. Your pleasure. With total pleasure. Just as soon as he settles his account with my casino. You'll get every penny, I swear it. I'm sure he doesn't want his father jumping to his defense. You said he was a grown man. See that he proves it. You'll get your money. Then we don't have a problem. By the way, if you uh, see him, would you tell him I'll be waiting for him at my house? Oh, I warned you before, Lionel. Try to order something. Be frowned on unpaying customers. You're never gonna break him, CC. You'll get all of it. I don't care what we have to do. I don't want him indebted to that man. It scares me. Where the hell is he? Come on, let's, let's get out of here. We'll try to find him. Look, I'm sorry, Kelly. I, I don't know what to do to make you believe me. Don't touch me. Kelly, I'm worried. Something's happening to you. I don't want you to worry about me. Well, you're confused. Not about you. Look, I didn't want any of this to happen. I didn't want to hurt Nick, but it was inevitable. Look, what I did was wrong, Dylan. The line and everything, it Kelly, was wrong. Kelly, it wasn't wrong. It was beautiful. No, it wasn't. Look, I can't breathe with you around. You're suffocating me, Dylan. Look, I, I know that you need some time to be alone. I also realize it would be the worst thing for us to jump into anything right now. Dylan, I didn't leave Nick so we could be together. This is the first time that you've had any freedom in months. I, you're not the kind of woman to be tied down. I, I know that feeling. All I want to do is to make you happy. Then let me live my life. Alone? I'm, I'm not going to pressure you. I'll, I'll do that much. I know it'll take a little time for you to get over this thing with Nick. Dylan, it's not a thing I have. Well, I'm trying to understand, Kelly. That's all I'm trying to do is just to understand. Now, why, why don't you give me some help? What do you want from me right at this moment? I want you to leave Santa Barbara. You don't mean that. You say you want what's best for me, but only if it fits in your plan, Kelly, I Dylan. just can't help but believe that what we had was right and still is. All right, I'll leave. But I want something from you first. Dylan, no. Look, Kelly, if I have to leave, why can't it be a happy ending? <laughs> Kelly, I remember what we had, and it was... It was beautiful. And I've never had that, and I would hate to go through my life thinking that it would never happen again. Understand? Kelly, I want us to spend another night together. Just the two of us alone. I, I want it to be just like Santa Rosa, if it's the last time, before I leave. All right. You won't regret this, I promise. Okay, okay, not yet. Not yet. Later. Okay, I'll call you soon. I will. Soon, Kelly. See? Thank God I finally caught up to you. Sophia, it has been a long day. I don't care about your day. I have to talk to you. Will you take it easy, please? I've got an appointment with Mary McCormick. She can wait. She can wait. going on here? Haven't missed the reunion, have I? I thought you were uh, talking to Courtney, discussing Davis' case. Well, I'm working on it. Yeah, well, I don't know anything for sure, but I can't believe the crews could be wrong. Cece, I have Kirk's room ready if you'd like to check it out. Uh, can you wait a few minutes? Sophia and I have something to discuss. Mm -hmm. oh, I believe they'd like to be left alone. May I take you on a tour of Dad's art collection? Well, I've seen some of it, but I don't know much about art. Oh, you don't have to. These paintings speak for themselves, right, Dad? Mason, do you mind? I don't think even Dad appreciates what he has in his possession. Trust me, these are like no other paintings in the world. All right, we're alone now. What set you off this time? Warren! It's Warren. How could you be so ruthless toward him? You cannot stay away from the Lockridge family, can you? Or is Warren Lockridge another secret I should know about? Oh, stop it, Cece. You are so determined to destroy Lionel, you didn't care what you did with his son. I didn't put a gun to his head to drag him into the casino to uh, work up a gambling debt. <laughs> boy has a gambling problem. Don't use it for revenge against his father. 
How would you feel if Lionel came after you? How would you feel if Lionel came after your kids? Easy Sophia, or the casino's not a charity, it's a business. And Warren owes the business money. This has no concern of yours anyway. You are talking to me, Cece. You're using Warren as a leverage against his father. I know you. No, you don't. Well, you wouldn't be here in the first place. I run my life and my business by my rules. And if Lockridge can't control his own son, it's his business. So heartless, Cece. No, it's life, Sophia. Now, Warren's gonna have to grow up sometime. He can't always have his uh, father's mistress fighting his battles for him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got something to attend to. Never mind, I know my way out. faster at this game, Dad. You and Sophia used to go at it for hours. I'll call you later to discuss the case. Oh, I'd love to, Dad. Thanks. Good to see you, too. There's the door, Mason. <laughs> see, you spoil me rotten. Would you do me a favor? Show me the room now, then we'll discuss Kirk's case. Sure. Thank you. Excuse me, Mason. Sure. No, not if you're going to go in there and talk to Cece. Do not give him that stolen money. It's going to make things worse. Will you just get out of my way? No, Warren, I won't. See, you're not a thief. Sophia, this is none of your business. Stay Cece out. is no match for you. I am not going to stand by and see you make the biggest mistake of your life. Warren, have you ever seen him? I wish we had. I suppose you want to bleed him for the money he owes your darling father. I guess I just want to talk to him. Neither of us have heard from him, right? I, I, we've been looking for him, too. Uh, when does he have to pay Cece back? He has an appointment with Shylock today. Why didn't you two just give him a loan? Huh? We tried. Warren wouldn't take it. Well, you had better see him before Cap will get him. Well, your fraternal concern is terribly touching. Or do you have some inside information from Cece? No, I have no idea what Cece's going to do, Augusta. And we should take your word as family, Augusta, of course. Stop it. He's trying to help. Brett. You have seen Warren a lot more than we have lately. Do you know where he hangs at? What bars, what clubs? Or anything? Uh, I barely stand being in the same room. Hmm. You have no more information than that. No, I'm sorry. Well, then we'd better go back to the apartment and try looking for him again. Maybe he's not answering. Look, if you, uh, if you see him, tell him I need to talk to him. Yeah, I will. Did you happen to hear anything more about the robbery? No, I haven't heard anything new from the police. Then Cece must know. You must have told him. No. I haven't told. I'd give anything to see his pasty face when he gets the news. Well, I think Kirk's going to have everything he needs. We'll start him out very slowly and then gradually work up to the heavier machines. I assume that means you're going to take the case. I would be happy to help out with Kirk. Thank you. He's lucky to have you because you're the best. I think his doctors have pretty much figured out a good schedule well, for you. When are you ever going to let him take a compliment? I don't hand them out unless I mean them. I'll try. Thank you. You're very welcome. I also remember how wonderful you were with me when I was sick. When is Kirk coming home? Uh, about noon tomorrow. He's doing so well. The doctors are very encouraged. Oh, yes. He's gotten through the worst of it. Mm-hmm. And if I know Kirk, he won't quit till he's 100%. What was that? Excuse me. I will be back in a minute. All right. I didn't leave, obviously. Your father and I were just having a very productive meeting. Does he have any other kind? As long as everything goes his way, he could win the title of Miss Congeniality. I like your father, Mason. You like everybody. I have a sudden urge to propose a toast. Are we celebrating something? I am. The human spirit, or your human spirit, to Mary Duvall no, McCormick. Mason, please don't. To Mary McCormick, who has a heart blind to the faults of others because it's as pure as a child. Amazing. You cannot go in there with that money. Cece's not going to know where the money came from unless you plan to tell I him. I wouldn't do that. Get out of my way. Warren, no! Something was done to those bills. 
Well, hello there. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, Cece, I have to talk to you. Oh, please do. Come in. I was expecting you. And I'd like very much to join you. Forget it, Sophia. Uh, I'm afraid not, Sophia. We have something uh, delicate and interesting to discuss. Pay you back everything I owe you. Really? Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you can come up with this kind of money so quickly. Well, I told you I'd come through. Yes, you did, but not with all of it. You're a little short. Yeah, well, that's just a, a down payment, CC. I can get the rest. I never agreed to the installment plan. Yeah, well, I can come up with it. I just need another day or two. So bad. I was half expecting a certified check. Or the property deed. Yeah, well, that wasn't necessary. No, it wasn't. I wanted that land, Warren. I guess I'll have to bide my time. You tell me we got the money? It doesn't matter. You're, you're getting paid. I can always find out on my own, you know. Very easy. All right, all right. I, I took out a loan against the property. I have to wait till the check clears, and then I'll be able to give you the rest of it. That's why it's going to take some more time. I see. All right. I hope you've learned something. I'll be back with the rest of it. I'm running out of patience, son. I really expect that money. Do you understand? Just give me two more days. No, no. No. Warren! I can't give you two more days. I'll give you till the same time tomorrow. No extensions. No excuses. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm an old hand. Just watch this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got it. <laughs> That's enough. That'd be great if it didn't make you so sweaty. Kirk will be ready for the 88 Olympics by the time you get through with him. Nathan, he's just gotten off the critical list. Yeah, saved by Capwell Hart. Sounds like a country and western song, don't it? I sure was glad to see you here. Does this mean that you and your father are getting along better? What, are you kidding? Best you could say is that we're at red alert with both our fingers on the button. Oh, no, it can't be that bad uh -huh. still. Yeah, it is that bad. We'll continue to be unless I get uh, David convicted. If that happens, I might get back in his good graces. But if David walks, so will I. Not that I care how Dad feels. What do you mean? Well, he has a, a long way to go before I forgive him for some of the things he's done lately. He's been very upset about the murder lately. Oh, I know. I think he could single-handedly bring back the hanging. After all, a Capwell was murdered. I don't understand how David could do that to somebody he loved. Well, we've learned through our investigation that they weren't exactly the perfect couple. Not that the perfect couple even exists. Well, I don't know. Oh, you, you know of a perfect couple? You and Mark, maybe? I, I think every marriage has problems, but that doesn't mean they can't be wonderful. I suppose so. But I think I'd rather be alone than lonely with somebody else. Oops, sounds like another song, doesn't it? You know, when I first joined the convent, I thought I would never be lonely again. With all those people around to share with. Now you have Mark. Yeah. Not exactly Mother Isabel, is he? Where is the lucky lad? Oh, he's going to pick me up after work. We're going out to dinner tonight. Oh, so there is dating after marriage. That's amazing. How about you? You must have all sorts of women lined up this week. Oh, yeah, a dozen or so. What are you looking for, Mason? What is it? Soft music. Candlelight. Huge warm bed and a woman beside me. And I want to crawl into that bed every night and know that we care more about each other than we do for ourselves. You want love?
Jamie. Hi. I was just calling in a night. Oh, I wish you wouldn't. I have to. One man's music is another man's noise. Hi, it's so beautiful. Why would somebody complain? Why aren't you a critic? <laughs> yeah, do you mind? No, come on in. You know, it helps me, your music. I mean, it helps me forget the day and helps me sleep, believe it or not. Glad you're not a critic. Oh, no, no. I mean, it, it just makes me feel good and content and relaxed. Oh. Well, someday I'll write a piece for you. Guaranteed to put you asleep in five minutes or less. You write, too? Well, no, a little. A little. Oh, well, I guess it's uh, back to the glass of warm milk tonight. Have you ever actually had a glass of warm milk? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I haven't, no. Tell you what, I've got something at my apartment that I think will do the trick. Really? You know, no, no, no. I'm not giving you a line. I'm, I'm talking about tea. Tea? Yeah, purely organic herbal tea. It's really good. I'll go get it. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> it's no trouble. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Aren't you going to answer it? Kelly, what's wrong? <laughs> well, that's very funny. We can make a lot of money on you. You know, you've heard of the singing nun and the flying nun. You could be the funny nun. We <laughs> try you out on Carson or Letterman. I'm an ex-nun. Details. Details. <laughs> Try the act out on these two. If one of them cracked a smile, we'd be in business. Mason, didn't I ask you to leave? Yes, you did. Hello, Mark. Dad told you the good news. Mary's going to be nursing Kirk back to health. I know. Mark and I were just discussing the case. Well, good. Well, why don't we all have a drink? Mason. Well, it's only the polite thing to do, Dad. Mark, something for you? We're already late for a reservation. Oh, oh well, we should, we should go then. I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of you around the house. Your office is in town, Mason. Not in my house. Would you please remember that? Uh, look, it's getting late. Good night, Cece. Good night, Mason. Yes, good night, Cece. Good night. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry to hear about the casino robbery. What are you talking about? What robbery? You haven't heard? It's all over the evening paper. Some guy in a mask and a wetsuit robbed the ferry as it was bringing in the week's take. No, I haven't heard. What... Well, the police should have called me about that right away. What are you talking I'm about? I'm sorry, Cece. I thought you knew. In fact, uh, Sophia and Amy Wallace were on board at the time. She never said a word to me. Was anybody hurt? Apparently a shot was fired, but the guy got away. Rick did call me up. I was avoiding calling him back. Well, excuse me, please. I better call him now. Sure, that's awful. Well, now that the uh, door one has gone to count his lost cash, we can have that drink. You don't ever really hear the word no, do you, Mason? Pardon? Let's go, Mary. Goodbye, Mason. Just say good night. No one anywhere has seen you, and I cannot stand this. I've run out of places to look. And people to ask. Huh? Well, I'm an ex-wife now. Why don't you ask Sophia where Warren is? I'll bargain with the devil to find him. Why should Sophia know, right? I don't know. I'm desperate. Warren, where have you been? Around, I just got your message in my machine, huh? You know what day this is. It's Monday, Dan. <laughs> it's your deadline with CC today. Done. And as usual, you assume that I can't take care of things on my own. Warren, listen to me. We insist that you take the money and we're going to pay half. What, what have you been done? <sighs> I've already paid CC. With what? Relax, Dad. Our land is still our land. Where did you get that kind I'm, of money? On my own, Mom. You know, kind of like your idea, though. 50-50 split, just like the divorce. Warren, we're not. Dad, yeah, I think I've made my point here. I've cleaned up my mess like a good little boy. You just relax. I'm not about to mess up the locker's name anymore, okay? <laughs> Warren, you... Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? I'm all right. So what is this new policy of yours? called fun. No more miserable dinners alone, no more 
fights over things that we have no control over. We just have fun. Yeah, I think you've had too much champagne. Mark, it's my second glass, and so, so what? Look, are we going to have fun, or are we going to uh, sulk the rest of our lives? Uh, Mary, I can't pretend this is some storybook marriage. No, but we have a chance at a good marriage. With no sex life. For now. But there's more to us than what we do in the bedroom. We used to have fun doing little things. We still can. Mark, I spent a lot of years being away from men, and uh, we can survive this. For how long? As long as it takes. You're my husband. If you want to make me happy, drink your champagne. See part of your new plan to have fun? Mason has nothing to do with this. <laughs> it's a little hard to buy when I see the two of you talking and joking and laughing together. Mark, we're friends, that's all. Look, you can't have fun if you're going to be jealous all the time. Maybe you're just trying to avoid certain realities. I would never hurt you, Mark. I, I would never hurt either one of us. Our marriage vows mean everything to me. No. I just love you so much. And I'd never deceive you like that. But you're a woman, Mary, and I'm not everything that I should be to you. Hey, don't go getting all serious on me. Come on, I want to have dinner, I want to dance, I want to laugh the way we used to. I want to spend my life with you, Mark. Not Mason, not anybody else. Oh, for I guess my uh, patients aren't wise to new policy yet. Okay. I'll be right back. Sorry, that, that was an emergency and I have to get to the hospital right away. Um, can you get home all right? Oh, sure, I'll take a cab. Um, listen, you're not going to always get away this easily. Next time, Dr. McCormick, we're going to have fun. You got a deal, Mrs. McCormick. You know, I could get used to this new attitude. Good. Doctor should be doing I'll be okay. I shouldn't. I'll be okay. Sir. It'll be okay if this wound, the infection doesn't. Yeah, well, it will. How did it go with CC? Fine, everything is going to be doing fine. CC got his money, my family still has a precious land. I got away with it, everything worked out. In one morning. Maybe not, Warren. The bills were marked. What? That's right. Brick told me. Yeah, well, well, does CC know about this? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I called him. So for when you said, I'm not here to turn you in. You lied to me. He's gonna help us. Would you just stay away from Warren? Sophia didn't call the police. No, I think you owe her. I don't owe her anything. I don't come any closer to me. Just want to talk. Yeah, if you want to talk, why don't you talk to, to, to Eden or Ted or somebody? Take your pick. I mean, we're all a big happy clan here. I, I mean, don't want to see you go to jail. Oh, wouldn't you? You can't handle this call. You tore my family apart, now you want to leave my friend? It wasn't his fault. I don't care whose fault it was. I just want you people to stay away from me, okay? Oh. Oh. Yeah, better than warm milk, huh? 
Not as good as your music, no. Yeah. <laughs> so why haven't you been getting sleep? I don't know. Uh, what memories or some? Um... Uh, I'm sorry. I sound like I'm prying. It's a capital offense. <laughs> well, at least you're not guilty, you know. I can see you're tired, though. Maybe I should just, like, skedaddle. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Have you ever thought about talking to somebody about this? Like a psychiatrist? Yes. I've tried it, and I hate every bit of it. I hate the questions and the speculations as to why I'm not acting the way I should, and none of it whoa, makes whoa, whoa, sense whoa, whoa, to whoa, me. Whoa, bad here. suggestion. Well, no, no, no. I mean, anybody would suggest it, Justin. I'm not... I do look like I'm running away. Yeah, but what are you running away from? Hmm? Um, everything. What's that? Well, at least you don't do things by halves, do you? <sighs> Your family here in Santa Barbara? Yeah. I guess I need to be close to them still. How's the tea? It's good. It's good. Justin. Mm-hmm. Why are you so easy to talk to? Ah, if I only knew what my secret was. <laughs> no fair, making me smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being tough on you, I know. <laughs> Shall I? I? I mean, I could be your rich Uncle Maximilian in no, for no, a no. visit. No, no, let it ring. Okay. I don't want to talk to anybody else right now. So, oh, come on, come on, let's sit over here. Tell me about you. <laughs> that won't take long. Well, I mean, I know you're a musician and a composer and, what, probably starving like all the others? Yeah, it sounds familiar. Well, how'd you get started? Uh, uh, I bought my first sax in New York. Uh, and, and I traveled across country and played in strip joints and small bars. Yeah, I still play in small bars. Oh, you do great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, let's just say that I get together with a few friends a couple times a week, and uh, we play the local clubs. You ought to come see us sometime. Yeah, I'd like to. I would. You know, I really envy you being so dedicated in your music and things. <laughs> no, I do. I'd love to have something like that. Kelly, I know that you're in there. Come on, let me in. Look, Kelly, I'm not going to go away until you open up the door, okay? Look, Kelly, I saw you from the window down at the street. I called you from the phone booth below the apartment. Now, come on, let me in! Kelly, come on, please! Kelly! I thought you were going to call me. Now, what kind of games I'm are you sorry, playing? I got real busy. That's Kelly. a lie. Now, you weren't going to call me, were you? You're just trying to get rid of me. Well, Kelly, I am not going to give up on us, and I'm not going to let you give up either. <laughs> well, who are you? Kelly, what's going on here? not another brother. No. Look, I don't know who you are, pal. No way. I'm a next-door neighbor. Then you know your way home. We need to talk, Kelly. It's okay, Justin. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Leave it open. What have you got going here, Kelly? Dylan, I asked you not to follow me. You said that we were going to be together. I didn't mean tonight. So when? Next week, next month? Stop lying, Kelly. You never intended for us to be together. Dylan, that's how this whole mess started. No, that is how you realized that you loved me. Kelly, we belong together. No. No, we don't, Dylan. See, I thought about it. And it's not right. Look, that is Nick talking. Now, he really pulled a number on you. Dylan, Nick has nothing to do with this. He made this. you feel guilty for being alive, for wanting something more than, than a dull life as his wife. That's not true. Kelly, I won't judge you that way. It wasn't Nick, Dylan. I was the one who made the mistake. Was it a mistake to follow your heart? For us to make love, Nick made you feel like a tramp because he's jealous of what Will we have go? together. Please not go. until you stop playing by Nick's rules. Nick? And no one can live up to Nick's high standards. Dylan. Kelly... He is doing this. He is keeping us from being together. Nick has nothing to do with... He still with has a hold on you, and I've got to figure out a way to break it. 
Will you leave him alone, Look, please? Kelly, this has been coming on between Nick and I for years now. Now, I am going to do something to him to let him know that he cannot run our lives. I swear to you, we are going to be together. Dylan! I compliment your taste. That's a fine year. I have a friend who knows all about that sort of thing. A wino? <laughs> a very sweet man once you get to know him. Gee, it's a shame Mark had to leave. Would you join me for a second? Oh, all right. Mason, did you mean what you said before? Uh, about you being a comedian? No, I think the market is flooded. No. I mean about candlelight and soft music. And the girl. Yeah. I don't think I can go back to my old Casanova self. You want one person to share things with. Your dreams and your feelings and to dance with and fall in love with under the stars. Folks, you've just heard another chapter in the life of Nurse Mary McCormick, Closet Romantic. I love it when you make fun of me. I'm not. I like all that stuff, too. Walking in the rain, kissing by firelight, making love on the beach. Especially making love on the beach. Did I tell you about my new project? I don't think Kirk would appreciate being called a project. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm starting a hotline at the clinic at night uh, with a couple of psych majors from the university and, and uh, two board-certified psychiatrists as advisors. Well, that's ambitious. Between working at the house and at the clinic and now this, where are you going to find time for a personal life? I'll find time. Marriage takes a lot of work. That's another quote from Nurse Mary Duval McCormick. When are you going to find time to work on yours? Mark and I are fine. I'm not trying to upset you. No, no, no. Um, but you know what? I should go home. You know, it's been determined that drinking champagne on an empty stomach is hazardous to your health. And then we could do a little dancing after dinner. No, I, I have to go. Seems a shame to let the bottle go to waste. Good night, Mason. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I, uh, I think we're dancing. I think you just saved me from one of life's embarrassing moments. That's my pleasure. You better let me drive you home. No, no, I'm, I'm going to take a taxi. Well, at least let me walk you out. You're such a nice man. I'll be fine. You know, I'm, it's going to sound kind of crazy, but I always seem to have fun with you. Please stay. your cap. <clears throat> oh, hey, hey, I'm fine. I'm fine. You will be now. Uh, what are you, some kind of med school dropout? Well, when you grow up in the circus, you learn a little bit of everything. First day is a must. I mean, we do have something in common. We both grew up in a circus. Tell me, Wallace, why are you covering for me? I should you get in trouble harboring a fellow. Just helping out a guy, okay? Yeah, well, the cops might not see it that way. Yeah, well, the cops and I have never been very close either. Besides, I might have done the same thing as you did if I was up against the wall. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I don't start comparing me with you. Yeah, 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 I'm not comparing me to you, believe me. But I am finally getting it from my thick head that we are brothers. For some stupid reason, uh, beginning to like it. Now, I know that doesn't make too much sense to you, considering the way we've been treating each other, but uh, it does to me. And there's nothing you can say or do that's going to change that, okay? Come in, come in. That didn't take long. I appreciate you coming back. You have something to say? Yes, I want to test out a theory. I'm up to my limit with you, Cece. Sophia. 
Warren came into this house and gave me a large sum of money, not quite all of it, but he gave me part of it. Says he has the rest coming later. Well, good. I'm glad. What does it have to do with me? I'm getting to that. He didn't get it from his parents. His newspaper's tapped out, and he's literally bankrupt. So where do you think he picked up that kind of money? Ask him. I did, but I don't believe him. But I think I know where he got the money. I think we both know where he got the money. Why don't you tell me about it before? You gave him the money, didn't you? Me? What if I did? I want Warren's money, not yours. Especially not yours, if it's used to cover your lover's son's debts. Now you're being ridiculous, you see. You deny I gave it to him? I don't owe you any explanations for anything anymore. I caught you two outside talking. What are you talking about? The weather. Good night, CC. I'm not through. Oh, it. yes, you are. You've got your damn money, so let it alone. Oh, no. I forgot. That would require some humanity. Hello. C.C. Capwell, please. Yes, this is C.C. Capwell. This is Detective Rogers, SPPD. Well, I hope you finally have some news about the casino. That's exactly why I'm calling. Boys, tell me that uh, we got a break. We just learned that some of the money that was stolen was marked. Marked? You're kidding. No, no. It uh, shows up under an ultraviolet light. That's good news. Mm -hmm. Rick Wallace must have used this. Good. I hope you'll catch the thief soon now. Yeah, that means we got a better shot at it. I'll give you a call if anything else comes up. Thank you, Detective Rogers. I appreciate it. The biggest names in television honor TV's biggest legends on the Television Academy Hall of Fame.